We have another entry in what the hell is this? Let's come take a look at my apple tree. So we got these bugs growing on here. Oh! <laughs> and I was like, oh no, we've got some kind of infestation because there's another one here, there's another one there. That one even kind of looks like a tick, <laughs> but it's not. And then there's another one down there. You can see like those teeth on the front that are kind of like digging in. So I thought this was a horrible pest. Well, it turns out it's actually a beneficial insect. Here's a couple of old shells from these. These are Asian lady beetles. And you can see one, I think it came out of one of those shells. And you can see it sitting there. It looks like a traditional uh, ladybug. So yeah, this tree has a ton of these Asian lady beetles and it's a beneficial insect. It's essentially the same as uh, the more uh, the red and black dotted ones uh, that you're uh, used to seeing. Uh, they eat the aphids and uh, control pests on your trees. As you can see, I got a couple of issues with this apple tree. It's got some leaf curl going on to it. It almost looked like a, some kind of potato bug. And since I have my potato plants growing in buckets right over there, I was concerned they were uh, setting up. Oh, here's another uh, stage of uh, development on these uh, lady beetles. So if you see these, they're actually, uh, I think it's pre them forming these pupa over here. And then they turn into the, the more commonly shaped uh, lady beetle that we're familiar with. So yeah, this is what I actually saw the other day. And I was going to spray this tree uh, because of the uh, leaf curl here. But when I uh, saw the uh, those insects on there, I had to go uh, uh, take a look. I had to go look it up and you see whether, you know, this was a problem or not. And no, it's not. It's actually good to see them. So while I was putting this video together, I came across some new information about the Asian lady beetles. So stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll give you an update on them. But I got one more interesting thing to show you in the what the heck is this file. A few years ago, I had noticed this plant growing underneath my uh, bench. There was a one or two of these strawberry looking uh, plants and I said, oh, wild strawberries. Cool. <laughs> let me uh, take a, let me let it grow. And, you know, I'll uh, accept the wild strawberries. So this year, as you can see, it is fruiting like crazy. And I was, whoops, all excited about getting these because I understand that wild strawberries, although slightly smaller, than the traditional uh, strawberry you buy in the store, that uh, they're almost just as sweet. These are not it. <laughs> this tastes like, it doesn't taste bad, it just doesn't taste good. So I had to go look up online again as to what this is. This isn't a wild strawberry. This is called mock strawberry or Indian strawberry. And it has a very bland taste to it. Uh, even uh, maybe like a, a watermelon kind of taste, but not in a good way. They say you can use them. They're actually uh, good for you. They're not toxic. And they say you can actually use them if you have other berries that you want to uh, build up the bulk of the berry in a pie or something like that, you can use these. It won't change the flavor of your pie, but it'll give you more uh, volume of your berry. The way you can tell uh, whether you have a mock strawberry 
or you have a wild strawberry is by the flower. This is the flower of the mock strawberry. It's yellow, not white, like the regular strawberries that you'd buy in the store or the wild strawberry. The mock strawberry has a yellow flower to it, but they do say it makes a great ground cover, the mock strawberry. It uh, chokes out all the other weeds that'll be around it. And I'm surprised that, um, that they're actually fruiting under here because it's obviously shaded. And from what I understand, it's supposed to need uh, full sun. Now, it does get some sun through the slats and all that in the afternoon, but not that you'd, anything you'd uh, expect. So these are just two things that we file under. What the heck is this? I'm gonna actually put up on the screen though something I found today. I went to uh, a beach today along the Hudson River by uh, the Palisades in Fort Lee. There was this weird looking uh, thing on the beach. It looked like a caltrop. Don't you know what a caltrop is? Those would things they would throw on the ground. They look like a spur. They'd throw them on the ground to hobble a horse. And uh, it looked just like that. It was black, shiny, and uh, except it was like a shell. So I looked online to see what that was. And turns out it's called a water caltrop. And it's a plant. It, it floats in the water. And then when it washes up, it dries out, gets really hard. Supposedly it has a, a seed in there that's edible. They describe the taste as musk and hay, which doesn't sound appetizing at all. That actually used to be a, uh, a beach that was uh, used in like the 1920s and 1930s um, by people. They would take a ferry. There used to be a ferry that would run across the Hudson River from New York to just uh, south of there and would drop uh, passengers off and they would flock to that beach. But once the George Washington Bridge was built, killed it. <laughs> People just would drive past it and not even uh, go there anymore. But again, just a, a quick video on what's going on here in the garden. Okay, while I was editing the uh, video and uploading it, I came across some additional information about the Asian lady beetle that says they are beneficial. They do eat the aphids, they do eat other insects that are harmful to your plants, but they can also cause a bad infestation in your home. And you basically have to go through and vacuum them up. During the fall and uh, towards the winter, as the weather turns cold, they'll uh, look for like a warm area Kind of like stink bugs, I guess, because you find stink bugs hanging around uh, your windows and stuff. And apparently the Asian lady beetles do the same thing. And then they'll go into your home where it's warm. And then you can get them all inside the house. Another thing is that they'll also drive out and maybe even kill native lady beetles. The red and black ones that we're uh, more familiar with. So while the Asian lady beetle is a beneficial insect in the garden, it will control your uh, aphids and other harmful insects. They're not 100% uh, beneficial. So they're good, just not that good. Okay, thanks for watching.